Let's bring in Doug Butler, portfolio manager with Rockland Trust. What do you say? What do you expect uh, Fed Chair uh, Powell to do and say? And what do you, effect do you think it will have on equities? Uh, expect is one thing. I think I hope that he is a little less hawkish than we've we've been hearing the last few days from other other Fed members. So I think we're concerned that they're going to push a little too far with this. But we remain optimistic that that inflation will be sort of kept in check and continue to slide down throughout the rest of this year and should be back, you know, not at the 2 percent level, but more normalized by Q1 of next year. Do you think inflation has peaked? Yeah, I think I think inflation has peaked and it may, you know, I think there may be the PCE coming out on Friday may still show really signs of aggressive uh, hikes, but I really think you think about it. Commodities are down 15 percent. You saw the used car prices, which went crazy last year, are now down. Um, you're starting to see the tempering of everything. And as long as you don't get exceptionally hot wage growth going forward, which could push up inflation, we should see it continue to get in line. So, Doug, if you think inflation has peaked, what sectors or stocks should investors be getting exposure to ahead of Jackson Hole tomorrow? Well, I mean, I think a couple of the names that we mentioned, one of the names that we really like here is Ecolab. And Ecolab is a, you know, they make every sort of sanitary and like cleaning product known to man used at the industrial level. One of their big core input costs are like, you know, plastics and energy based uh, commodities. So their margin should expand even if the Fed goes a little too far and sort of pushes us either into a recession or if we're in a recession now. Um, we think that that stock should hold strength throughout, you know, throughout the coming year.